The difficulty of getting 148 MPs required to debate the Constitution Amendment Bill that proposes the exploration of a mechanism that would see the gender rule adhered to continues to send worrying signals. And uh, as of today, we have made more progress, but unfortunately, we have not achieved the consensus levels required. However, the Justice Minister has allayed the foreseen fears, promising that they will be building consensus with the parliamentarians opposed to the gender rule. We have deemed it prudent, therefore, to uh, request that this bill be withdrawn again, to give more time for further consultations, for more consensus building, and we believe uh, we will be able to uh, build the next, I mean, the necessary consensus over the next uh, two or so weeks. In other words, short timeline, looking for other options and getting the numbers, the numbers uh, uh, possible. But the, the bottom line is we don't seem to have uh, gotten the numbers required for the constitutional amendments. A number of proposals have been floated with the Yata MP Charles Kilonzo's proposal, that of nominating two women in every county, being among the likely ones to be adopted. Haya ndi baadhi ya mapendekezo yaliyo mbele yetu tuendelee kujadiliana na tuone vile tuweza tukapitisha huu mswada. Kwa hivyo tuendelee kupiga hatua na tunaamini uh, kwamba tutafaulu asante. Members of parliament opposed to the amendment touching on the gender rule have contested the suggested proposals on the grounds that with nominations Kenyan taxpayers will suffer the blunt of paying a bloated legislature. During today's meeting that saw all bodies responsible for the election preparations, the issue of biometric voter registration kits was also top of the agenda and the IEBC chair cleared the wave on the uncertainty surrounding the acquisition process. As you can see, the contract has been uh, signed between the government of Kenya, uh, represented by uh, Treasury and IEBC and the government of Canada. Parliament had a lot of questions. Members of Parliament of the committee, the chairman is here, had many questions on our timelines, how long it will take to re register voters per ward, and we are working now on those numbers. And we have agreed to come back tomorrow and give the chairman and the committee a much more comprehensive report.